I'm a member of the U.S. Coalition to bring you Professor Jian Sai Baba. And I'm really encouraged to see folks coming out today to stand against NRC and CAB. I think these are real outrages. These real fascist policies to systematically disenfranchise Muslims. But it's also important to see, as many of you no doubt know, these are continuations of systematic policies of disenfranchisement of the Muslim community in India. According to the World Health Organization, if more than 30% of a population is malnourished, that population is in a state of famine. Well, 40% of Muslims in India are malnourished. And the numbers are similar for Adivasis and for Dalits. We know that this Indian government, this Modi government, this Ludi Sarkar, is not for the people. We know this and more and more people are seeing it in India. They're rising up and they're protesting against it. This government has looted so much continuing the policies of past governments, continuing the policies of the British and expanding on them, that people are rising up and fighting back. And so now they're trying to distract from this. They're trying to distract the people's rage. They're trying to blame Muslims. They're trying to say Muslims are illegals and that the people, the poor Hindus, should hate Muslims and target them instead of focusing on the outrages committed by this fascist Modi government, this BJP and RSS, this neo-colonial state. But I think we need to see through this. We've seen how the economy has been driven into the ground in India. And we've seen how along these same lines, then they whipped up national chauvinism around Kashmir. Then they've gone after Muslims in Assam with this NRC. Now they're building concentration camps to round up Muslims all across the country. And we know what this is about. The MS Goldwalker was very clear in his book, We or Our Nationhood Defined, which is still taught to this day in the RSS's schools. He was very clear that the RSS wanted to do to Muslims in India what the Nazis did to Jews all over Europe. That's right. And that's what they're trying to carry out now. The BJP is attempting to carry this out and they're using the old colonial laws and they're modifying the, the laws where they don't suit them and now they're building these concentration camps. So we here in the United States need to stand up and fight back. You know, I'm, I'm an American, I've never been to India. Hopefully one day I will go. But I feel that I have far more in common with my brothers and sisters in India fighting back against this fascist Modi government than I do with the government of Donald Trump or Barack Obama who have so openly embraced the BJP and these fascist policies. And I think the oppressed people of the world, we need to stand together. We need to fight back the poor people of the world because we see these governments whipping up Islamophobia, targeting the poor and oppressed communities, and trying to convince other poor people that it's in their interest to join in pogroms like happened in Gujarat, to join in pogroms like happened in 1984. And they're trying to convince us that it's in our interest to align with these fascists like Modi and Ahmed Shah. But we know it's not, and we need to show people that it's not, and we need to show people that they can stand up and fight back. And to be frank, I'm learning so much looking at the resistance that's going on all over India. I've been so inspired to see it. And power to the people, Inkilab Zindabad. Thank you, Ryan.